we do have Brighton at the weekend. So, Wes, how are you feeling about Brighton? Because if I'm not mistaken, I think they're sixth at the moment. Obviously, they play tonight. I think they play Bournemouth. And at the moment, they're seven points behind us. So, we played Everton and that was a mess. And now we're going to be playing Brighton that were closer up the field than us. So, how are you feeling going into this one? Do you know what? Brighton might actually play into our hands here. Oh, okay. Um, Brighton under Harry Potter um, and under De Zerbi are now a possession-based team. They weren't necessarily that under Chris Hewton. Um, they want to dominate the ball. They want to control the game. I think that will work in our favour because we love this low block, this 5 4 one rubbish um out of possession and we haven't really got the players to do it um and defend well so i think our strategy is to defend in numbers and i think we've seen that especially with um Mourinho, where we had like six at the back and then it was like kane and son um and then the others were just sort of there basically um so yeah i think it might they might play into our hands a little bit um bright and so it might might do us a little bit of a favour. We need Son to be back. It feels like we've been saying this every week. Um, but, you know, if, if Brighton do play that high line, then, um, you know, it might entice Son to just creep forward a little bit more and look to get in those those spaces in behind. you have a lot of grass um, to run into. Um, a little bit similar, actually, to like what and how City set up against Liverpool which baffled my brain because how are you going to get let Mo Salah have half your pitch to, to run into? It just makes no sense. Um, and I think people would see that with the, with the Liverpool goal. But yeah, I think Brighton might just play into our hands a little bit. in the, And I think they did that earlier on in the season where they just absolutely came at us with everything. And we just went, hold on a minute, let's just calm this down a bit here. Mm-hmm. Um, and managed to, on that occasion, we managed to see the game out. But um, yeah, it was a bit of a scrappy one, that one. So, yeah, I've got a feeling it might go in a similar way um, on Saturday. Stress levels through the mm. roof once again. Um, I don't know if I'm right because I'm not very good with keeping up with cards and all this and that. But after Harry Kane receiving that yellow the other night, last night even, does that mean, Dara, that he's out for this game? Because I'm pretty sure, I think he's on five and I'm not sure how many. So does five mean he's out? Because I'm assuming, is it, does it not or does it? I think no? Where's he shaking his head? Ten. Yeah, well, 10 now. Is it 10? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's all right then, because that includes the point I was going to make. <laughs> yeah, no, I, uh, I asked someone, I was watching it with a group of friends um, last night, and I asked them, I said, oh, that's five yellow cards, because that was the rule, to be fair. But I think that changed last season or something like that. Okay. So, so we're good, we're good. It's all good. Thank God for that. I think, I, mean... it, I think that rule changes at a certain point in the season. So it's like the first yeah. quite, yeah. or the first chunk of the season, it's five, and then you hit a certain yeah. point, and then it goes to 10. Oh, thank mm. God for that, because I was stressing. I was saying, that's our bench going to be even worse without, obviously, Lucas Moura and Kane. I was stressing bad then. Um, but, Dara, coming to you, what are you kind of feeling? I mean, now Kane's in it. I'm not too bad. But they've obviously drawn to Brentford and Leeds, and they beat Palace as well. So, with what Wes has kind of said, how are you kind of feeling going into this? Because it has to be another game that we have to try and get three points because we couldn't do it against Everton. Yeah, listen, I'm much more confident even just seeing that we're at home. Um, to be honest with you, because um, our, our waveform, as I've said, has, has been an absolute joke um, as of late. So even the fact that we're at home, I think, gives that gives that little bit of an advantage to us. Now, Brighton are top sides. They will play possession-based football. They will look to come at us. They've got top wingers. Um, March and Matoma are probably the most informed wingers in the league at the moment. Um, they've got a great young Irish striker, Evan Ferguson, who I'm a big fan of, obviously. Um, but yeah, no, they're, they're a good side, Brighton and McAllister playing as number 10 now is seeming to suit them as well. So Deserby kind of has the backing of the fans and everything like that. So, you know, they're, they're playing with a load of confidence and they'd be playing a Spurs side who are pretty much the exact opposite at the moment, playing with no confidence and with fans who have no confidence in the management at the moment. So it, it's going to be an interesting game. Um, but I do agree with Wes. I'm a little bit confident going into it. Um, just based on the fact that as much as Brighton can score, I don't think they're great defensively. I mean, conceding Brentford are a good side, but I mean, conceding three to Brentford isn't the best. Um, and I think their defensive record hasn't been amazing this season. They haven't kept too many clean sheets, um, especially away from home. So I would be confident of definitely scoring a good few. It's just a matter of keeping the the Brighton goals to a minimum if we can. Um but yeah, I think if we can, I think if we can limit the amount of Matoma getting on the ball, I think he's going to cause a serious bother. Um, I think he's the main man for them. 
be honest, just go carrying the ball forwards. If you can stop him in his tracks, I think that's kind of the route to a lot of their goals is out wide. March, if you're closing down his crosses, that's what he likes to do. So th- there's a way you can play against Brighton that would make sense, but we probably won't do that because we don't <laughs> like to, you know, change our style for anyone. So we'll see, we'll see. But no, I actually do feel a little bit confident going into the game that we can get a result. Mm, hopefully so. I mean, there are famous last words because I was confident last week and, and that went to crap and all. So we'll have to wait and see. But like you say, at least we're at home. Um, hopefully we can get the job done. 